just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Hello everyone, it is Sunday evening. I am just now picking up the camera. Went to church today, went to Winco at the shop for this week. Came home and I've been laying down ever since. I'm so tired, I don't know why. I was like, did I go to bed late last night? I didn't go to bed too late. It is almost nine o'clock. As you can see, I'm so tired. Um, Tariq is not here and me and the girls we are all watching different things in our rooms um, we couldn't agree on what to watch so we we're just like eh, I'll watch this in my room and whatever so I'm watching oh my goodness what am I watching modern family Savannah is watching grounded for life because we have all of those and Cheyenne is watching meet the Browns um in her room and it's funny because we all four of us have been watching like dvds and shows from the past Tyreek right now is watching because i have good times you guys remember that show good times that came on i think it was in the 70s but i loved it and i hear the theme song to it and now i'm like okay i'm watching that next so anyway i'm just rambling just trying to give y'all an update on what's going on because i know i don't vlog a whole lot right now good morning everyone it is tuesday my late date but i am about to leave for work it is so tempting to go back and lay down in that bed it's nice and warm in my house i'm the only one here right now everyone is either at work or school i'm just looking at my bed and it's calling my name michelle come back come back I hate pumping gas y'all have I told you guys that I wish the car could miraculously fill itself up hello everyone so I just got home from work as you can see I just got in have not even taken off my coat and when i say coat i mean sweater because i don't wear like the puff jackets and all that i just don't i told you guys already before anyway what was i going to tell you guys so it's raining it's been raining all day like so hard and it's just cold and so ugly outside and i wanted to go to the store to grab a few things and i decided i'm not going to so i'm kind of being lazy today and i downloaded the instacart app just to see what it's about and I am ordering some food for dinner tonight and things like that. So yeah, you guys, um, being kind of lazy, but it's gonna get to where you don't even have to leave your house. You can use DoorDash to bring you food and now you can use Instacart to bring you groceries. And there's like Stitch Fix or something like that where you can get clothes sent to you. All I need to do is work from home and then I'd have it made. I just want y'all to hear how loud my kids get sometimes. Stop! Stop screaming! They're playing. No, you can't. Stop! You need me. to go shower. You need to shower. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Little girl. You need to shower. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I could show you them. This is how loud they get most times. And they're just being silly and Girl, I 
So when y'all think they just the most quietest, well-behaved kids, they are well-behaved, but definitely not quiet. I call you an animal. And these are just the girls. You would think I have five-year-olds in here. You hear her? That's Savannah. When they're all three doing the same thing, and I'm glad they get along and all that, but my kids are loud. I just want to show you guys proof, or let you guys hear proof that they're loud. Oh my gosh. Y'all want a 22 year old and a 17 year old? Yeah, um, I don't know if I will be using Instacart all the time, but for times like this, I say it's definitely worth it. I will use it again, but just probably not all the time. Oh, one more thing about Instacart. So I guess you can shop on the app and you can schedule the time that you want them to deliver the groceries. So say that, okay, when I got home, it wasn't delivered until two hours later, but say that at work, if I like ordered the food on my lunch break, I could have said, okay, have it at my house by six o'clock or something like that. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, my early day. Just waiting on Savannah to get in the car. I keep hearing things slam around because it's very rainy and very windy. The winds are very high and yeah, it was crazy last night. I'm expecting to see all kinds of debris in the street like I did one year. I don't know if I told you guys, there was a trampoline in the street from one of the neighbor's yard. So yeah, all right, as soon as she comes, then we will take off. And she likes getting to school this early, but she has a choir field trip today. I'm running a little bit late and of course I have to wait on a train and it's going super slow. Well, fast, but slow for a train. Hurry up. Hopefully it's not too long, y'all. So I was waiting only two minutes and it's done. All right, let's get going. So we are at Red Lobster. It's just us girls. Tyreek is not here. Everything looks so good. Don't know what I'm getting yet. Oh my goodness, they just did a group hug. You guys, look at Tariq, he cut his hair. He's so handsome. He cut his hair. You were at Bible study. There's some Cheddar Bay Biscuits in the Yeah, we watching Cheddar Bay Biscuit. That was doing that. behind the camera, she's all. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Thursday. I am home from work. Went to Home Depot and Lowe's. I'm telling you, you guys are gonna get tired of hearing me talk about this home improvements, but that's what my life is right now. So this is what you get. Anyway, so um, my dining room window, it's like a perfect square, 58 by 58. And I was having trouble finding blinds to fit in that window. And I looked on Amazon because if you guys remember, my bedroom window is super long and huge. I ordered that on Amazon and I put it up myself. The same brand that I got in my bedroom window, I looked for that for my dining room and it's the same price. I'm like, I paid over $100 for that. I'm not gonna pay the same price for something that's smaller. So I went to Home Depot and I actually found some and I got it and he cut it to fit. And I am going to attempt to Put it up tonight. All right, so before I attempt the blinds, I might even wait until tomorrow to do it when it's daytime. <laughs> um, I am just going to take out everything in that drawer here, clean this up, because remember I told you guys I am gonna give this away or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And the boxes that are right there, I am going to break those down and put them in the recycling and get this area cleaned up as much as I can because it's a mess. That's all clear now, I just have to wipe it down and 
take those few things away. The drawer is empty and that is empty. And you guys, I'm finding all kinds of stuff from when the kids were younger, um, cords that we no longer use. And I also seen something in there like paperwork from the computer, from the printer, from the computer that we had before. I guess I just stored a lot of stuff in there that had to do with the computer. And look what I found you guys, Virtual Villagers. I'm not a game player, but I used to love this game. I played it on the computer all the time and also Bejeweled. Y'all remember this game? That was really popular for a while. Okay, y'all letting y'all in on a little secret. Well, it's not secret anymore, but I still have VHS tapes because I still have a VCR and I have more over here. Pretty sad. I'm going to clean this whole thing up. Okay. So this is after all of the VHS tapes are on this side mainly. And this side is just computer equipment, the old VCR, um, some cookbooks and things. And on this side, um, it's just equipment stuff that I no longer use. So yeah, the only thing that I can't fit in here is the tower of the computer and my printer. I just have to find somewhere else to put that. So this is where I store the computer and the printer. Y'all, I do not have a whole lot of space in my house. This is basically it other than the closet down the hall that I keep the towels and other stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys before I completely paint it. I'm freshening up the doors. The white is really dull. So I'm making it more white. So look where we are. It is like a vampire house. Savannah's so silly. So we are at Ikea. We have not been here a long time in a long time. I didn't even say hello. Hello, it's Friday and I'm off work. And see who's with me. Shine's still at work though. Of course, you know she has to get on every bed. What'd you say? Okay, you got your own channel now? What? Okay. Okay, she's been talking about Jeffree Star since she saw him. You can like unhook this thing? I guess. So Tariq connected his speakers, no his speakers, his phone to the speakers over there and I guess it's from an app that he made this. It sounds like music you go to sleep to. Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and I'm up because I am about to start painting and doing some things with my house. I'm going to finally put up the blinds in the dining room and what else oh i'm gonna paint the kitchen first before i start in the hallway in the dining i mean hallway in the yeah the hallway in the dining room so yeah ladies bible study is going to be here on friday so i don't want my kitchen to be two different color yellow so that's the reason why i'm going going to paint the yellow the same um colors i did inside the actual kitchen because this is the nook area. So. All right, you guys, so the next time you see this, the curtain will be gone and there will be blinds up. Keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> Everything turns out okay. I did my bedroom window and it was bigger than this, way bigger, so I don't see why this shouldn't turn out. So I wonder how long it's gonna take me. I should time myself. All right, here I go. Wish me luck. Okay, you guys, it is done. So it took me an hour to put it up. The actual blinds, putting the blinds on, only took like two minutes. It literally took me an hour and Tariq is not here right now for him to help me like with his strength. So yeah, you guys, I took the old curtain rod down, as you can see, and the curtain and the holes where the screws came out. I put spackling on there. So once it dries, then I'll sand it and then everything will be completely ready to paint. Um, I'll just be really careful when I'm painting around here, that way I won't get anything on the blinds. And I do have a new curtain rod that I'm putting up. And if you're wondering why I'm putting the curtain rod up and I have blinds, it's just a look that I'm going for. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit higher, like to underneath the window level, just to make the dining room area look bigger. So yeah, you guys. Um, I'm just excited how everything is coming along slowly and here and there, but y'all, once it's done, it's gonna look totally amazing. Oh, and one more thing about these blinds. I don't think I told you guys, but you guys know this part right here that goes over the top. 
I'm not putting this part on yet until after I paint because I don't want to worry about taking it off. So I'm going to leave this to the side and then I'll put it on once all the walls in here are painted. All right, y'all. So I'm just taking a little break. I know I said I was going to paint the kitchen today and I still plan on it, but that putting up those blinds really tired me out. It wasn't hard and the good thing about it, I only had to get on the second stair of the ladder, so I was okay with that. But it was just, I had to put like all my strength in it. It was like I did a workout. If you ever put up blinds, then you know what I mean. And even though I had my power drill, for some reason I didn't have the right drill bit, whatever you want to call it, the little thing that screws into the screw or goes into the screw, you know what I'm talking about. So I didn't have the proper one for it, so I had to use a different power screwdriver but it wasn't as powerful as my main one if you know what I'm saying if that makes any sense so I kind of struggled for a little bit putting it up but it worked so yeah and um I've been watching too much Grey's Anatomy lately because I've been watching it again I'm actually on season 11 and as I'm putting the blinds up right by the window and I'm on the ladder right the second stair I'm thinking I'm like wow what if I push too hard and I lean on this window and I fall through the glass and it just cuts my stomach open and all these thoughts started running through my head and I'm like okay Michelle you know what stop thinking negative all right you guys so I'm in my kitchen nook area and I'm trying so hard not to show you my floors but this is the last time you will see these bright yellow walls that I didn't really like in the first place but I just was like oh well and I left it I took my pictures off the wall the one up there that said kitchen and then the one over there there was like a bistro I say it was in France or Italy or something like that so anyway yeah I'm gonna take those down and paint and then I'll show you guys when it's done so you guys I almost forgot to show you the walls it's really late right now I'm super tired so I'm just gonna show you this and I'll show you the rest tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 